Joel and Ellie in the mystery of the House of Mirrors. Zoinks! It was old man Mr. White! <laughs> he caused the apocalypse just so he could get his hand on the $500 worth of silver doubloons. I was thinking it was Mr. Carruthers. Ah, that was a red herring, you see. Mr. Carruthers actually was, uh, actually. was a hologram. He was actually the grumpy old caretaker. The special science microwave. Mm -hmm. Here's our biggest fan. It's a pretty big fan. Yeah, it's pretty boxed in, though. So there was a uh, work table, I passed it up. Simply because, you know, same reason as before. Because I'm holding out for them tools. And once we do, oh man, it's going to be so worth oh, it. Oh yeah, we are going to splurge so hard on that. Oh. Fireflies! Here for mankind over here. Yeah, no, that's, that's cool. This place is obviously it's deserted. Just keep out. yelling. Pretty full of yourself, aren't you, kid? <laughs> well, I, I'm passing that door because I know it leads onward. Let's look at these other rooms. Mm. It's got special protective glass. Ooh. Hey, it's a shiv door. All right. I ain't seen one of you fellas in a while. Now, oh, this one. Tools. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yep, got our fancy pliers. They also got us a booklet. Booklet is on Molotov upgrades. Their radius have been has been doubled. Oh wow! So basically, Molotovs are massive area of effect killy things. They are really awesome now, as if they weren't already really good. Oh yeah, look at that! Wow, that is a decent radius. Mm-hmm. And the main instruction was probably just put more alcohol in there. It looked like it was like, just throw it harder. <laughs> Don't throw it like a girl. Joel's kind of like, what the fuck are you talking about? I ain't throwing it like a girl. Just wind up. Put your hips into uh, it. Although, although I'd like to think that um, uh, Joel actually can't throw or can't do a lot of manly things very well. Well, he never went to college. <laughs> never went to football college. He'll learn how to throw properly. Joel's actually very good at sewing and knitting. Speaking as a guy who had to take home ec in, in high school because I'm gonna, industrial arts. I'm going to make a Christmas sweater for Ellie. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, look, I can't operate a bandsaw, but by God, I can sew a teddy bear no, like a motherfucker. bandsaws are nothing, dude. You just hit the switch and go to town. But what about the paranoid fear of losing a thumb because you were screwing around? Well... Just just try to cut right, and you're okay. <laughs> the trick is not to get your thumb cut off. That's the trick to not getting your thumb cut off, is not cutting your thumb off. I mean, you with me? that's the kind yeah, of deceptively yeah. obvious advice that I could have used when I was is learning it, how to I, bake I've, muffins. I, I've used, I used a bandsaw a lot back in college, and it, it wasn't tricky. It was a very old one, and changing out the blade was a massive pain in the ass, but that thing was probably older than I was. It's funny you should mention, because I was in a Power. band called Saw. Oh yeah, our rifle is going to become a, just a killing machine. Look at that. So, uh, so Power is just flat out damage. Yeah, if somebody's got a helmet and we hit them in the head, they're going down. And let's, let's, bu let's buff up the flamethrower, because we have, we have gear to burn. Make the draw speed faster. Because the bow and arrow is going to get a little bit of use. Click capacity up. Okay. Now we're talking. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. Not bad. That's effectively double our killing power. Uh huh. And, oh! Wish we had more rounds for that, but you know. Now it's got a cylinder. Oh, yeah. Which you just pop and throw away. Would you say you pop it and lock it? Well, I mean, you, you lock the... Oh, I see. Oh. Now, it's kind of... Um, the handgun... The, the ammo availability is really 
obvious, I think, going from normal to hard, because in normal, I still had a fa pretty fair amount of handgun bullets at this point. I, I think I've done better at gunplay in this than I did in my first run, and even now, I've still got almost no handgun ammo outside of my super killy ones. That's true. You haven't been whiffing too many shots. Hmm? What's this? Looks like medical mumbo-jumbo. Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo-jumbo. Ah, okay. Oh, you called it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. Maybe it's the monkeys. <gasps> oh no, the monkeys are running this place now. Maybe they're the doctors. I've played System Shock 2. Oh man. I know exactly what's the going head, on The here. head monkey doctor is going to be called Cornelius. And he's going to have a naggy wife that's just going to go, Cornelius! <laughs> Cornelius! The only thing I remember about that movie is just his wife was so naggy. Hmm. Was that the first or the second? I can't remember. I think it's it's the second. The the doctor in the first one, the main one was Zayas. Well, nothing up here. He's like us, but not covered in a coarse coat of hair. <laughs> Easy there, Chewbacca. <laughs> we got mushroom zombies to kill. <laughs> That's good, right? We found out where they went. Hmm. So it seems they left in a hurry, and um, but they left their bricks behind. I know they even left brick behind. What monsters! But it seems they left in a hurry, and they didn't even pack stuff up as they were commenting on the first floor because that's medical stuff and. Medical supplies, I assume, were bundled in there as well, and those things are pretty much worth their weight in gold. So, maybe it's just useless medical supplies for very situational stuff. But hey, we found a recorder. Ooh, a voice log, fantastic. Steve Plum! They're about to go have another goddamn meeting about the safety of this lab. All of our equipment is here, all of our data is here. All the personnel have gotten used to living here. I'm gonna run another test. Otherwise this incompetence will drive me insane. So you remember that uh, lookout station that mentioned a doctor from San Francisco who's a bit of a jerk? Right. I'm pretty sure it's referring to Steve Blum's grumpy science character. Well, you know what? To his credit, at least he didn't call them fools. I know. I don't know why he's so grumpy. I mean, it's not like it's the end of the world or anything. I mean, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Also, I've forgotten to upgrade things. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do listening mode distance. None of these other, none of these others really matter to me, really. It's just sprinkling around the Centrum Silver. <laughs> At this point, I'm eyeballing how many shiv doors I have left in the game, and I think. After I think after doing this one, I've made enough. I have enough shivs for all the ones in the game. There are thirteen or fourteen, and I think we've just got two left in the future. And that's why I was kind of sitting there, kind of like, hmm, wait a minute. Well, I guess more shivs is always useful. Yeah, I'll probably keep an extra one in the pipe just in case I accidentally mash triangle when stabbing a dude. Although, granted, with your Super Molotovs, I guess shivs aren't that necessary. If only if we could burn the doors open. Oh, if only. Our fire needs to be upgraded. Fire, not hot. Well, this is a game that obviously loves fire. Fire, hot indeed. <laughs> yes, fire, fire, fire indeed, fire hot. indeed hot. <laughs> Playtime is fun time. Man, does every chem lab in the world look like this with the, those boring black countertops and the sinks on the side? Boy. I I think it's pretty standard. Yeah, it's just a, there's just a look to it. Something the countertops are made out of. I'm sure somebody will make a info dump post about it. I think it's probably something that won't get messed up if you inevitably spill like acid. Yeah. On them. Still a lot of supplies and stuff lying around. No no peaches, though. Why aren't they keeping their peaches in the chem lab? 
it, it's not like they're experimenting on peaches. Like, what scientific Mutant value peaches. could that have? There's a box fan again. Maybe if this was the University of Georgia. Hmm. Georgia. Hold on. Mutant peaches. That might be a stereotype, I'm not sure. Georgia peach? Georgians sure do love their peaches, I tell you what. Trying to pull a Hank Hill there? No, I, I'm not even sure what I'm doing by this point. I heard point. a what. <laughs> now, that covers all the stuff in here. And the last thing... Ooh, that's hmm. blood. Or poop. Yeah. Just miscellaneous stuff sprinkled around in here. Oh. What's in here? Gear. Just more gears. Is yep. is there any resolution to the storyline with the monkeys? Because I am curious to see how they're going to resolve that. Well, are you curious about George? I... He's the king monkey. Shit. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, so nice. Probably clickers, right? No, clickers don't hide. Oh. -ho. Hmm. Blanket fort. Not so it's not a clicker. Hmm. It's one of those Sam Fish rooms. That could be the new infected. We only have four known, so. Ooh. Now this is this is what the fungus does to the brain. Ew. There's no coming back. Hmm. Well, let's see what's waiting for us. We're getting close to the end of these labs. Jesus. Monkeys! What the? These three clickers. <laughs> More like furious, George. Bad monkey. Well, maybe in all that research. No, no recess for you. Ha! Let's keep searching. We'll find something. Now, those are actually special monkeys. Are they the the primate? Why do you think what do you think monkeys were doing in a lab testing chemicals and such? Why couldn't they have just been the makeup testing monkeys? Nope, they saved that for the rabbits. That's four pallets of lab equipment all packed up and ready to go. Now, big question is what do we do with all you guys? They say the tainted batch needs to be put down. You know what I say? I say screw that. Who made a bigger sacrifice than you, right? Anyone deserves to run free out there. Stay hey, easy! Uh, ah. Shit! Oh no. It bit me. Oh my god. Get out of town. Tainted monkeys. Is this patient zero? He didn't stay where they went. Oh. Like Jill's toad. Well, glad we didn't mess with them monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so they did pack up and they did get out of Dodge. It seems they were moving very quickly. I'm not clear why. Maybe, maybe due to infected or hunters or something. But uh, Steve Blum's dude kind of screwed up and got nibbled on by a monkey. By an infected mushroom monkey. Yeah, it sounds like they left some supplies behind, but not all of them. Maybe they were, uh, maybe they were pressed for time and they couldn't get that pallet out. But that's also why there aren't any corpses here that you're seeing. They decided to move for some reason. Maybe they were pressed for time, but it seems at least nobody died outside of, well, Mr. Blum. Uh, I guess that's okay, but... Yeah, I hear he wasn't a very lovable character anyway. Maybe. Hmm. I should find an excuse to use smoke bombs again. Hmm. Just taking stock of things. Seeing what I want my loadout to be. Because our ammo's kind of spread thin across several weapons. Oh, right. Yeah, so I may as well just go with some primary ones for now.
Yeah, no shit. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. Got me some time to reflect. Been years that felt like we were. Blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. Giant waste of time. I'm not gonna do this I'm anymore. definitely gonna earn my pay for this one. You for the others. They've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. You'll find them there. Still trying to save Whoop. the world. Salt Lake City time. This road movie's going to Utah. Do you know where that yep. is? Yep. Right Mormons. Is it far? It ain't close. I mean, on horseback. What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. Bo. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. That guy had some good eyes on him. What yep. The fuck are these guys? No matter. Language, young you know lady. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's go with just something light and fast. Actually, let's just get that gun ready. There we go. Nice. Now, gotta have them, they're gonna be running at us in a moment. So, got a hatchet, got a handgun. Let's take a bit of a peek and see what's what. Oh, no. uh -oh. Free hatchet. What? Hey there. Dodge. Yeah, Ellie popped him. Just he was about to hit me. Nice. It's tricky when an enemy is running at you and trying to melee you. A lot of the times they will win the exchange. Like what happened with the first guy? I was swinging at him, but he still got the the leg up on me. A whole bunch of dudes came in over there, but here's the kind of thing they do. They'll have a few that'll buckle in over there, and there's several that'll flank from the side here and pinch in on you. It's too now, many this tactics. Is actually, this is actually a failed attempt here, just to kind of show you what these guys do. Yeah, so careful over there. Oh, beautiful throw. Yeah, big radius, but his buddy, I think, was actually... I thought his buddy was by his side, but he was actually behind the counter in the chemistry room. Right. For some reason, the Molotovs do. Hello? Yep, and that's his buddy. Ellie was in the lead. Come on. Oh, for oh, pity's well, sake. I'm kind of like, you know what? Let's just. Let's give us another shot. Ha! Huh? So. First things first, we'll handle these first two guys just outside the door in a moment. Provided right, Ellie doesn't run the way again. Rump. Have a free break. And an axe. Oh, you've seen it before, Ellie. Calm down. Okay. Now, I have plans. You had to be Spike! Oh my oh, god. Balls. Welp. The last second it nicked that, I would have gotten, I think, a number of them with that. I think so. I mean, so, points for Moxie, but... Now, these guys really pissed me off. So... Let's get, let's make them suffer a little. This is a sadistic side that I've just never seen before. I'm surprised that guy with the shotgun actually missed me. Okay. Now, there are two guys left, and they aren't budging. Ooh, extra crispy. Oh, that is grim. Now, I want to try and save my ammo here. Got brick ready. It's brick's time to shine. Yep. Now, it's right there. Oh, they have yeah, that little glow on the edge of the screen. Very cool. Mm hmm. They're budging, they're making noise. Okay, here we go. Stun him. Get his buddy. And finish. Brutal. Now, they got pals coming. Hmm. <sighs> hey, they're more different dudes. Hey. No smoking. Hey! Look at that! Axes are awesome. It's almost like you knew that was gonna happen. Free axe. Mr. Er, I wish and I this had guy just kind of sits there in place. 
What a jerk. But oh. What a jerk. Let's learn him. Yep. In hindsight, I probably should have circled around because he's actually watching this door. And he out meleeed me in spite of my mashing I was prepared for. Well, he certainly paid for it. Oh, yeah. Reload. Yeah. I think we're okay. Oh, almost forgot. And I did open that previously. I guess the dying at the checkpoint forgot I opened it. Heh. <laughs> okay. Now let's just head back from where we came. I can't remember, was that was that flare there when we came through originally? Um No. No, so. they weren't, I don't think. These are guys, these guys are leaving markers after searching rooms or something. Yeah. Oof. Didn't notice that. Okay. He was not intimidated by your display of aggression. Oh man, tomahawk chopping like crazy. Ouch. Whoop. Come on, Joel. Get it together, man. Oof. Close. Okay, just head back out the way we came. And I'll heal if I need it in a moment. Nice! <laughs> L.E. Brickin. Oh, no, 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 oh, God. Oh, you got Lara Crofted, son. What, what do you want me to do? What? Delayed reaction to the headshot. Oh, man. Joel? I'm gonna need you to pull. Okay. You ready? One, two, three! Yeah! Oh! oh, gracious. Get to the damn horse. Okay. I don't see anyone. Let's go. Joel? That is going to take a lot more than alcohol and a rag. Yeah, you can see Ellie's soaked too now. Can you handle the window? Yeah. You can also see when Joel goes through the window here, leaves a little handprint. Yep. Come on, move! <laughs> I see you. Shit. Come on. Alright. Just stay here. I'm gonna flank this asshole. Ellie. Those were my friends, you killed asshole. Come on. We gotta get you out of here. I'm okay. You're not okay, Joel. Get a gun! 
Jeez, Ellie's really racking up the body count here. Can you get on? We're safe. Joel? Joel? <laughs> Shit. Joel! Here. Oh, get up, get up, get up. You gotta tell me what to do. Come on. You gotta get up. Joel? Holy crap. <laughs> 